What's going on everybody? Welcome back to LIH Studio. Today we're gonna to take a look at how to do these two beautiful but simple layouts in the design. Let's get started. Okay, so I've started with two pages of two spreads. First thing I'm gonna do is just create some layouts uh, so that it's easier for us to basically align things. I can figure out where they are. Okay, create guides. Now I'm just gonna do the usual guides, three different columns, and we're just gonna do 0.125 inch. You can preview it, um, but this is what it's gonna look like. So we're gonna go ahead and drag uh, the one big picture that you want in. So for example, this one, I'm gonna do a picture like this and just drag it on the corner. I'm gonna hit the shortcut, which is Control Shift Alt C, just to make it fit within the frame. And what we're gonna do is create a text box, create a fairly large text box. And whatever word you want in there, uh, you can put in. For this one, I'm gonna use oxygenate, uh, just cause it makes sense. And it's a nice nine letter word that'll fit pretty well. Now you're gonna have to play around with how big this, uh, your characters are. And here I'm just gonna go ahead and make it so I can see everything and then just make it so that they are where I want them to be in space. Gonna select everything. And then right now it's a little bit too big. I'm gonna narrow it down just a little bit, make it centered, uh, drag it back just to see how that looks. If you double click on the text box, it'll minimize to whatever the size is. It'll optimize the box for the current size. Okay, so that's beginning to look uh, a little bit like what we're trying to do. So I'm gonna go ahead and change it to a font that I think would work. We're gonna do uh, Big John. Let me know what you guys' favorite fonts are. It'd be nice to have everybody share and uh, I can try it out in the next video or something like that. But I think this is a nice font uh, for this kind of thing. So here we want to basically make this blend into the image. Now, Usually with a darker image, you wanna do uh, a lighter word. So I'm gonna change that to paper, which is white. And all we're gonna do, this is the easier one, is we're gonna go into effects. If you don't have this, it's on top of the windows tab here, and then you just have to check on effects. And we're gonna go ahead and just select the text that we have. And you can play around with all of these different uh, blending modes, but if you just scroll like this, you can see what they all look like. So just to give a preview, this is what they all look like. Now you're gonna figure out which one looks the best. In this case, for me, I'm thinking that uh, the overlay is looking pretty good for what I wanna do. So I'm gonna go ahead and select that. And that's already a great cover image to capture the attention of whoever you're trying to capture. It's looking a little bit spread out. Uh, so I'm gonna adjust uh, the text height just a little bit, maybe like 225, no, more like 240-ish. Yeah, that looks a lot better in my opinion, uh, just because we want to maybe have something down here. But nevertheless, we're gonna try to do something over here first just to finish off the page. I like to anchor the text because this side is gonna be more of a text page. I like to just anchor it with an image, so I'm gonna drag and drop an image in uh, maybe something that's related to what's going on over here. Um, and then I'm gonna go ahead, go ahead and create my text boxes. So uh, I'm just gonna fill it with placeholder text and do the same thing on the other side. So text box and placeholder text. Make sure these guys are actually aligned. Okay, great. So these two are our texts. Now it's looking a little bit empty. We wanna maybe add a title over here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. Now to do that, I'm just gonna drag this over. This might be the lazy way around, but that's exactly what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna make this a little bit smaller and make that auto. And then make sure that this guy is nice and properly formatted like that. Nice, and then I'm gonna rotate it make this a nice black color. Now I like to basically have a little bit of a divide between what the title is and the actual thing. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do this and give it a nice uh, black color or a black outline. Uh, and you can adjust this 
or you can not even have this actually to, you know, maybe a line over here, could be somewhere in the middle, but I just like to have uh, something that really anchors it down here uh, so that the text don't feel way too blocky. But that's basically it for the first layout. Uh, fairly easy to do. Let's move on to the second. All right, now I've just scrolled down to my second page here. You can see the first one on top. And we're gonna do the same thing to start. Drag in the image that you really want to have on this. And instead of what's going on on the first one there, uh, where you really have the word kind of faded into the picture, we want the word to kind of pop out of the picture this time. So the picture is gonna fade, the word is not, uh, as opposed to what this one is doing. So I'm gonna go ahead and just copy this. So I'm gonna hit Control Copy and then just play, paste that in place. You can see the same effect kind of applies to this image, but this is the opposite of what we want. Uh, and maybe I'll just change the word up a little bit too, uh, to, I don't know, beautiful. That's, yeah, that works. We can do beautiful. And then um, I'm gonna go ahead and select this, or actually I don't have to, I'm gonna select the text box, go into type. And what we're gonna do is create an outline. And obviously you guys can also create uh, uh, or change all the kernings and the spacings between this before you do it but you can also change it afterwards. And what we're gonna do is right now, because I put a lot of spaces into this word, it's gonna come out as a group. I'm gonna go ahead and ungroup it so that you can see that it's basically functioning as this as a group, this as a group, and this as a group. And each group is kind of, uh, is an object. And what we're gonna do is take the background image. I'm gonna hit Control X for uh, cut. And I'm gonna select each one of these guys and I'm just gonna paste into. So select, right click, paste into, select, right click, paste into. So here we can see that the image has basically clipped into the letters as if the letters were a mask. And for the last part, we're just gonna hit click, uh, sorry, paste in place. And we're gonna send this picture to the back because right now it's covering everything. You can either do this uh, go into arrange, send to back, or you can use the shortcut key, which is uh, control shift and then this little bracket thing. Uh, okay, so now that we have everything in, you can see that the words match where the picture is. We're gonna select the picture and we're gonna just adjust, adjust the opacity here to a place where you like it to be. Maybe you want it to pop out a little bit more uh, and it might look something like this or maybe something a little bit less because the image is really captivating. So something like this. So here, let me just keep it at maybe like around a 40. I think that looks pretty good. Um, and great, so the words now pop out rather than what's going on here where the words fade back. To finish this page off, uh, again, using the same principles, we wanna anchor this side down with the text a little bit. So. Uh, I'm gonna do that with the image this time. And the image is gonna look exactly like that. So I'm gonna drop that in. And it's just gonna fill one third of whatever this page is. So the shortcut is Control Alt Shift C to basically fit that into the frame. Uh, and let's create our uh, text boxes here. So go ahead and just create one like this. And then uh, maybe one over here. So just copy that. Uh, and then I also like to do something that anchors the page up here. It's missing a little bit something. And um, the color, I think I'm gonna go and sample something on the page. Maybe that's a little bit too bright. So let's try that one more time. Let's do like right there. That works. Okay, so that's our red. I'm gonna get rid of the stroke there. And that's gonna help us basically anchor the page a little bit there. And what I also like to do is um, basically you put a quote somewhere. It's always good to you know have some sort of quote somewhere just so just so when you're reading the page, it's not a whole text of block. The quote kind of uh, opens up the page a little bit. So obviously you can type anything you want here. Um, if it's from interview, something from the interviewee. Uh, but I'm just gonna type something generic. Insert uh, something like an awe-inspiring quote here and this is gonna be by a very wise person okay and we gotta make this a little bit bigger so going back to my fonts I'm gonna use the Futura for this one uh, and we're just gonna make sure that this 
matches the color of this. So I'm gonna select this, double click on the fill here, and then copy our color code. Make sure that all of this is in the same color code. Great, and then I'm gonna make this bigger so that it fits the entire uh, row here. Maybe not quite that big. But yeah, maybe something like that. Uh, and then obviously we can also have a harder break if we just, you know, give it a frame, something like that. Uh, and just make sure that the quote has enough space to breathe. There we go. Uh, and then you can continue your text down below here. Now maybe this one is a little bit bigger, something like that. Yeah, that's about it. So if you guys have learned anything, uh, please leave a like and do subscribe. We're almost at 10,000, so it'd be great if you can hit that. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoy and leave your favorite font in the comments. See you next time.